binoculars are essential pieces of hunting equipment. They improve your chances of success and help you make what you hope are the best decisions in the field, be it mountain or lowland. But they are a companion, a friend. They come along for the ride. Not anymore. Swarovski's latest range-finding binoculars get active, stuck in. They lock on to your target, then grab you by the arm and guide you in. Are these the most technically advanced binoculars ever produced? Because these are very, very clever. I'd rather swear then. These are very, very clever. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a tracking assistant, okay, which works with a mobile phone or on their own. It's got its own inbuilt integrated GPS system that works very closely with the range finding system. Down the end there, I've got a very colourful character called Little Roe Deer. And I'm going to ping it and see what distance it is. And it's telling me it's uh, 410 metres away. So I can't shoot from this distance. I need to get closer. The wind's coming towards us. So I want to get over there probably to take that shot. So in theory, my EL ranges will actually take me straight to that point. They'll pinpoint that. So I've gone to the app. And I'm connected to the binoculars. It's told me I'm connected. I need to get the measurements from the binoculars. It's 410 meters away, 246 degrees. And the actual angle going down to it is actually three degrees. So that's the, that's the one we're gonna go for. So I plonk on that. And okay, we're on here. So I'm gonna go on to automatic. There we go. Turn it towards me. There we go. Oh my goodness. So we're on... You as a crow flies. Yes. So that's, that's where we're standing at the moment. And basically that's where the deer is. So we've got to somehow work our way across from this field here and find another location to take that shot. Okay. So I'm hoping that this app will actually pinpoint that all the time. So shall we see how we're getting on? And direction wise? Oh, there it is. That's the direction and it's pointing me 409 meters and it's over there. So wherever we walk around, that arrow will actually point there or we, or we use the actual map itself. Shall we go for a wander? Go for a wander. Okay. So we started up on the top of the field there. We've walked into the next field and that's our, uh, our existing location. And we know if we press that, we're actually 330 meters away from it. But that looks like it's actually the right color crop and everything else. It looks like we're actually in a stubble field. That's pretty weird. <laughs> that's really weird, yeah. So I don't know how updated this, this um, the satellite, satellite is, but uh, there you go. Anyway. Onwards. Onwards. And downwards. <laughs> but imagine if we're up in, the, in, in, a, in a mountain somewhere, up in the highlands. I mean, how effective that can be. That'd be absolutely brilliant. What if I haven't got coverage for 4G, 5G, 2G, 3G, whatever? What happens then? It doesn't, <laughs> it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter actually, because once again, this tracking assistant um, is that what he can do is, is work a different way. We can't rely on, on the phone, so that's, that's gone. And what we can do is, is we can actually, on, through the tracking assistant on the actual binoculars, I can go on to that measurement. We took that measurement at 410 meters from the top of the field here. I picked that measurement and I can just keep pinging back to my original position and this will tell me how far I'm away from our target but also if I need to go right or left. Okay, so let's just try this. I'm just going to find it at the moment. It's, this is telling me, now I'm now pinging back to my original position, okay, and it's telling me I'm 316 metres away from our target but also it's telling me I'm 147 meters off target. So I'm 147 meters to the left of that straight line. Okay? Wow. So it's, it's guiding me. So obviously I can't go that way because I can't get a shot in it. So I'm going to be carrying on and I'm going to be going further and further away from it. Then as I walk close to it, it will start saying this way or that way. So <laughs> it's quite clever, isn't it? It really is quite clever. So uh, once again, we'll see how 
both those systems work actually. But that's looking back at where we started, not at the target. Yeah, so we, so basically you've got to make sure, the most important thing with this, the tracking systems on, on, when you haven't got GPS, is when you ever, wherever you start, make sure you've got something which is easily spotable from quite a distance away, so like a big tree, or a bush or somewhere else, you need some landmark because you want to keep on going, you have to go back to your original position. Okay, so we started at 410 metres on the top of the hill above the buggy. We headed over to the far side there through the gate and came past the buggy on the Orsi Rape um, stubble. We've headed across down, up towards the farm buildings and headed down this hedgerows, as if I was stalking a, uh, a road here. So in theory, there's a row over there somewhere. So if I look at my app at the moment, it's telling me it's 194 metres away, and it's actually down there. And if we looked over my shoulder, and if you look at this app, and if I go onto the onto the map itself. We are here uh, in the field next to the hedge, which I've stalked down, and our road target is actually down there, which is down the bottom of the farm there. Some people may say that it kind of kills the field craft, but it hasn't really, because I always knew the deer was down there, but actually it just allows me to kind of get a bit closer or allows me to kind of use the fields, but I know it's over there. And if you're in a big mountain, it's going to save so much time. A lot of things are gimmicks nowadays. You see all these knobs and dials and they can do this, they can do that, like windows, you only use like 10% of it. But what, after using this and testing it out in the field, there is a precise application or need for this. Spotting those animals on the hill then going around to them and getting to the right location. Taking that pinpoint coordinate of the animal which you shot and making sure you, 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 know, you know where it is. That that is brilliant, it really is. Optically it's brilliant and it's got the technology as well. So I don't know how they can better this. For more information about the Swarovski EL range with tracking assistant, go to swarovskioptic.com.